ITR Boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. I started boxing because of my dad. He lost his eye before a week before turning pro. He lost the eye. And you know, like, and then after that, I think it was like two months after, he just started training me out of nowhere. And then a month after, I, I, I did my first fight at six years old. Um, I started boxing, and my first fight was, my first five fights were all KOs, actually. And you know, like we, I kept on fighting and fighting and fighting. By the age I was, by the age of nine, I was 37 and 0. And then I came out here to the U.S. And this is, I won nationals. As soon as I came, I won nationals and this and that. And that's when I just decided I just, boxing is what I wanted in life. It's a, it's a, fa a boxing family. You know, I have all, all my little brothers, they all box. Jeremy Adorno's a USA team. Jay Ron Adorno, he's coming up. And Julian Adorno, also boxers. And you know, my father, you know, he's always been there since day one. You know, he does everything for me, you know. He, he pays it out his own money. I don't even pay him, you know. He does it from the heart. He be, he be taking money, taking to tournaments and the amateurs. And then from the pros now, he even travels. We have to travel just to get some good sparring. And you know, I appreciate that. Sacrifices, you know, there's a lot of sacrifices. You don't live. I didn't have a, uh, a shadow, you know what I'm saying? Like, people play, go out. Like, right now I'm a teenager, I'm 19 years old, I just turned 19 years old. You know, I don't go to parties, I don't be outside, you know, chilling with my friends and all of that. You know, I gotta go to bed early, train in the morning. You know, it's, just, it's hard. It means a lot, you know, because, you know, a lot of great world champions. And, you know, now I'm, an, I'm just, I'm not gonna be just another Puerto Rican fighter. I'm gonna be another great Puerto Rican fighter. Uh, it felt good, you know, since I was, probably since I was 10 years old, I wanted to be a pro boxer. I never had my mind on Olympics, none of that, like, to be honest. Everybody wants to be an Olympian, this and that, but I, to, I think it was the first time I ever went to a pro show, I just felt like I just wanted to become a pro and that's it, and a world champion. And, you know, when I got the opportunity to turn pro at 17, you know, I was just very happy and, you know, I put all the work in and, you know, and here we are now. Well, I don't really know how to answer this question. No, it's just it's all natural, you know, because you can't you can't practice to get game power, you know, it's all natural. So, you know, it's like we know how to box, we know how to do everything, but the power just adds on and you know and taking eight and eight knockouts. Well, yeah, actually when I was a little kid, I used to just box. I used to just box, move around, lateral movement, just box. But at the age I think I was like once I turned fifteen I started like knocking them out and hit them with shots, dropping them at the, in amateurs. So you know, so I changed my style up a little bit. And you know, all I know is now I come forward. I still know how to box. If I'm in a date, let's say one fight I'm in danger or something, I know how to box. I know how to move, all that. But you know, but ever since that that day that I knocked the kid out at the age of 15, you know, I knew I had power. So you know, I took it with me. You know how to use it. I'm the best Puerto Rican boxer there will ever be.